In this video, we'll discuss the concept electric surge. To know about the word electric surge, we have to look back at the history around 600 BC. Tales of Miletus, the peoples in the Greece, noticed some weird facts. When numbers rubbed with silk, they can attract light objects like the bits of paper. The interesting thing is that, after rubbing, the amber attracts the silk. On the other hand, a pair of rough silk cloth repel each other, and same thing is observed with a pair of rubbed amber. From years of effort, and after many careful studies, scientists conclude that there are two kinds of entity which is called electric charge. Now, after rubbed, each particle are said to be electrically charged. The more important thing is that, when the charge pair come into contact, they lose their ability to attract the piece of paper, as it was previously did. So it can be concluded that the two kinds of charges can neutralize each other. That's why the American scientist Benjamin Franklin named the two kinds of charges as positive and negative. Because when we add a positive number to a negative number of the same magnitude, the sum becomes zero. So what we have learned is that there are two kinds of charges. One is positive and another is negative. Like charges repel and unlike charges attract. The same amount of positive charge can neutralize same amount of negative charge. But you might be thinking what exactly the charge is, what actually it means. Wait, you may probably use the word mass of an object. Now what is the mass of an object? It is the inherent property of matter. Everything in the universe have mass. And because of this mass, we feel weight in the gravitational field. We know that weight is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity. The acceleration due to gravity is different in the different places in the universe. It is different in the moon, it's different on the earth, or different in the Mars, or different in other places in the universe. But the mass is always same at any place in the universe. The charge is also another inherent property of matter. Everything in the universe possesses charge, but most of the time they are in the neutral state. So we didn't feel it often, but unknowingly, many of the natural phenomena happening around us because of the surge. For example, lightning. Okay. Now, what do you think about the surge carriers? The subatomic particles, electron, proton carries surges. Proton carries positive surges. Electron carries negative surges and neutron is neutral. When it comes to represent charges mathematically, we use the unit Coulomb, which is named after a great scientist, Charles Augustine Coulomb. The proton and electron carries same amount of charge, which is equal to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb, but they are opposite in polarity. Uh, this is a brief concept about electric surge. The word electricity comes from the Greek word electron, which means amber, which we previously mentioned how this helped in discovery of surge. We'll discuss the different properties of surges in the next video.